Hi, welcome to Particle to Euro. I'm Aaron. Today we're gonna be making an amazingly delicious and super easy dip. It is a zesty ranch dip. It is super easy, like I said. Very delicious, goes together in a So let's go check it out. Here are the delicious and simple ingredients that you need to make a fantastic dip. Super quick, super easy, super yummy. You're going to take your sour cream and then you're going to top it with your delicious zesty dip from Hidden Valley. There might be an off brand, I've never found one. And I know that Hidden Valley is delicious, so just use theirs. They are not a sponsor, but I would be more than happy to take their money. Or I can get paid in Fiesta dip, it's delicious. Anyways, you are going to mix this thoroughly, make sure it's all in there mixed correctly because you don't want to get a bite of just raw zesty mix. No one's, no one's capable of handling raw zesty mix. That's just, we got to mix it with some sour cream. So you mix that all together and then you're going to put in your next ingredients, which is going to be copious amounts of sharp cheddar cheese. Yeah, it's a lot of cheese. But this is what helps hold the dip together and just retain that integrity for when you are dipping your chips or whatever you want to dip into this. You could do, you know, you're feeling healthy, do some uh, some celery or just whatever vegetables you'd like. I like to do the cheese in bunches instead of just doing it all at once. It just makes it easier to mix in. I usually do it in thirds. And so I just mix it all in and then you're gonna add in the next ingredient, which is chipotle powder, which will help get this a little spicy. Now you can make it as spicy as you want. If you wanna put a bunch of chipotle powder in, you can. Uh, I like to just do a little dusting and adjust accordingly. I don't like it super spicy because I'd say most people don't. So when I make this, I make it just so they're a little spicy on the back end. Uh, so that's great. So like I said, if you don't want to have it spicy at all, don't put the chipotle powder in. If you want it more spicy, put more, totally up to you. But I like, I like the extra character that it gives to this dip. So that's why I put it in. Uh, and then next we're going to put in some green onions. And the green onion's great because it helps freshen up the the flavors, kind of just gives you a different flavor profile. I really enjoy some green onion in a dip, so I like to put it in here. You can, again, omit this and it's still a delicious dip. I would, you could always try different things too. You could try putting corn in there, beans in there, uh, bacon. There's lots of different things you could put in this dip, uh, but the way we have it here is delicious. And as soon as you have all those ingredients incorporated, you're gonna wanna cover this up Put it in the refrigerator for about, I don't know, like three hours. I usually make it the night before and let it sit overnight. That way all the delicious flavors can meld together and you will have yourself an amazing dip. You are going to absolutely love it. It goes great with, I mean, if you were gonna make it with like tacos or burritos or whatever, there's just so many things you could put this on top of or in that is delicious as well. So get crazy with it, not too crazy. All right, now for my favorite part of the video, I get to eat the food. So, isn't this one of the easiest dips to make? It's what, sour cream, cheese, green onions, and the zesty ranch? Pretty easy, super fast. You can eat it right away if you want. I just highly recommend, like I said, to let it sit in the refrigerator. Let those, let those delicious, delicious, oh, and chipotle powder, almost forgot. Uh, those delicious, flavors just all meld together and it turns out to be just so delicious. Okay, I'm really hungry. I want to eat this, so let's do it. Take your chip. This is how you do a dip. You take your chip, you dip it into the dip. Then, all right, perfect, just like that. Get some dip on there. That's so good. It's so easy and it's so good. So, first thing you get is that it's cold. So you bite into it, it's cold and cool. And then you get that creaminess from the sour cream. 
and uh, the zestiness from the ranch, uh, zesty ranch. And then at the very end, you get a little bit of heat. Now, with L recipes, you can either kick that up by adding more chipotle pepper or chipotle powder, or you can leave it out and then it's, it's not spicy at all, but it's not overpowering at all. It's just really, it's just there and it's just slightly there. It, uh, it just makes it a little more exciting. <laughs> so delicious, super easy to make. Cool thing about this, this again is one of those recipes that use this as kind of a base recipe. So try it out, see how you like it, and then add some stuff to it. We've added, in the past we've added like grilled corn on the cob, like you grill it, cut the corn off the cob, put it in there, delicious. Uh, what else have we put in there? I think we've done black beans before, we've tried bacon. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the bacon because it just gets really soft and it's like, eh, I don't know, who's still, whatever. Uh, so if you wanna try that, you can. But yeah, just a super easy recipe to make. Make it for your next party, next get together, or make it for yourself. So there you go. Make it, you'll love it, I promise. And don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're putting videos out every single week, delicious videos with delicious recipes. Go to partyfoodhero.com for all the recipes. You don't have to scroll down to try and find the recipe. Recipe websites are the worst. I purposely made mine super easy to navigate search. Recipes there, you don't have to, there's never gonna be like a million pop-ups or whatever. Follow us at Party Food Hero on Instagram. Uh, but there, yeah, there you go. And remember, be the Party Food Hero. Telling you, really hungry. This is really good. So good. Be the part of food hero. So good. <laughs>